hello from my hometown of uh, Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Today I want to do the Switchback Trail. The Switchback Railroad um, existed to basically extract coal out of the mines and then bring it down here to the river. What makes this kind of interesting is that we're basically starting where the coal used to get dropped off. So that, that really would be the beginning of, uh, let's call it a coal cart, uh, which is basically what the, the trail is today. It's the old track of a, of a coal cart. And I'm going to try to replicate that as close as I can. Uh, but there's multiple portions that are either not doable um, on a bicycle or just are flooded, uh, like where uh, Mock Chunk Lake is. And that's the mansion where Ace Packer lived, who was the man behind Lehigh in coal navigation. And he basically created the railroad system and the canal system or helped in building it. Um, so we owe all of this to him and really the success of the town. All right, and this is Sam Miller Field. Although nowadays it's just a park. At one time, it was the base of the Pisgah Plain. And you can see there's an old cart there. And then if we look up there, we will see where the engines used to get pulled up. Unfortunately, it's a little bit grown in, but this is a consistent grade all the way to the top of this peak where there used to be an engine house that would pull carts like that, um, I believe by rope up to the top of the hill. Um, it's almost unrideable. I think I might just try it just for the fun of it, um, but there's another trail I can go around that kind of leads to the, the same bit at the top. The steepness of even the paved roads in Jim Thorpe are absolutely ridiculous. So up ahead of me is the wagon trail, which is actually the easier way to get to the top. And uh, we just need to remember that easy is very relative uh, when we're talking about the difficulty to get up there because this is also not super easy, but it's kind of the point of a gravity railroad is to get the steepness out of the way first and then have a long, enjoyable ride downhill. So let's get up this thing. It should be about a 10 minute effort, almost full effort nasty baby heads like this. I'm on a hard tail, so I gotta try to keep the tail down as I get up this. In some of these big rocks, it's easier to go directly up the rock faces. Oh. This is insane. All right, I just about died going up that. It's, it's good and hot and my lungs just aren't there. I'm, I'm sick right now, so doing that was probably, was probably not the best idea. But check this out. So this is an actual map uh, or illustration of what we're doing today. And uh, so we started down here in Jim Thorpe and this is that gravity plane I was telling you about. That's the one we couldn't go up because it was too steep. What's not on the map is the wagon road, which we just did. So where it says mock chunk there, we did a switch back up to the top and we're in this little ravine here. We're going to go up to the Pisgah house here and then it's nice and downhill after that all the way here. And what's unique about this is that this area is actually uh, mock chunk lake. Now they flooded this since this was made. So we're actually going to have to hop on the, uh, on the road for a bit. We're going to come around up to the Jefferson plain. We can get to the top of that taking the road and then we take uh, the down track all the way back here, past the Mock Chunk Lake and into Jim Thorpe again. And if you come up here on your own, I highly suggest taking a look around here. There's these old sort of ruins from the engine house and all the infrastructure that was up at the top of this peak. We start to see coal on the ground at this point. Okay, so right behind me, this is probably one of my favorite views, one of the most beautiful views in the area and uh, maybe in the state. And uh, what we can see here, 
in the background is uh, Broad Mountain. And then looking that way is Lehigh Gorge State Park. And that ravine or gorge uh, is actually getting cut by the uh, Lehigh River, which you can see there. You can see the pedestrian bridge uh, for the bicycles that go through the, the state park. Um, and then also a, uh, a train, train bridge. And in the winter, that one ravine there, you can actually see Glenanoka Falls. So truly a, a spectacular view. Um, it's a, it's a must go to um, if you do this trail or um, I made another video of the Twin Peaks ride. Check that one out. That one actually almost ends, that ride almost ends here. Um, so definitely stop here. One of the best uh, places to see. So let's continue on. We have uh, lots of downhill to do next. And this crazy steep thing behind me is the top of what we saw at the bottom that we tried to ride up. And uh, you can kind of see it there. Again, it's pretty grown in. There's some plaques up at the top here. Again, not super taken care of. But this is where the engine house, I believe, used to be. Yeah, muscle for the switchback. So this is, it was probably coal powered. Uh, just sat here and pulled trains up all day to eventually take advantage of the gravity to get it all the way to Summit Hill. And I'll show you just how far that is because we're about to ride it. Now, once the coal was taken to the top of the hill, there was actually a bridge that had its base just in front of us. We're gonna cut to the left to drop off. And then it spanned this ravine that I'm about to show you here. So imagine it cuts, it goes across there. And then right now we'd actually be below it. Still under the bridge, still under the bridge. <clears throat> still under the bridge. And then at the top of this nasty little climb, is uh, actually where it landed again on solid ground. We'll see if I've got the guts to pedal up this thing today. Come on, baby, almost there. Whew. Almost there. Huh. Got it, all right, all right. Yeah, and this is where the bridge landed. And that's probably one of the landings and another beautiful view of the Heights Broadway. Excuse me. You can see all the way to Lehigh Gap where the Appalachian Trail runs, which is on the top of that last mountain ridge you can see where Lehigh Gap is. So just Beautiful sights all over and super tough trails. <laughs> Sorry, I'm panting like an animal. And now we begin the nice gradual, I believe it's a 2% grade uh, track. You can see it looks, I mean, it looks like a railroad track here, finally. Um, that goes all the way, almost to Summit Hill. It's gonna go to the base of the Summit Hill and then we've got to climb up again. So this is the part of the track that required no energy um, because it was already granted it by getting that elevation gain. And we're basically doing the same thing as those, those, uh, those old coal carts, which is really cool. Because I've got no problem carrying some speed through here. And it's usually nice and clear. So let's just cruise. There's a deer just on the other side of this canyon. I don't know if you can see him on the GoPro. He sees me, but he's just kind of chilling out there. Which is cool. He's right there. He's looking at us. He doesn't even care. So after you cross the cliff, it actually gets much more overgrown um, because there's no uh, ATVs or uh, dirt bikes that come back here, uh, but they keep the other spot pretty, pretty nice, but they never, you can, they can't really make it across the cliff. And so uh, it gets more grown in. It's still totally rideable with the exception of a few trees that are down. We just came from that upper trail uh, on the left. That's the upper switchback. And you can see here, there's a sign for Mount Pisgah, 4.5 miles. So we just came nice, gentle downgrade, 4.5 miles, miles uh, from that direction. And we're actually gonna go here next um, because what we actually wanna do is get to the top of this trail. So this is actually the track that goes from Mount Jefferson uh, down to this point, and then um, eventually down to uh, Jim Thorpe. On the, on the panel here, so I'll show you what we've done so far. So again, we started in Jim Thorpe. Uh, we went up 
the wagon road to get to the top here. We looked down the Pisgah Plain. We just came all the way down this, and we are now here at this crossing. So again, this section here is what we we're not able to do, and we're also not able to do the Jefferson Plain. So what we're gonna have to do is actually just take the road uh, up to this point, and then we can ride uh, pretty much this, uh, this section all the way down back to Jim Thorpe. So what I'm gonna do is just pop down to the, uh, pop down to the ranger station, grab some water, and then take the road um, all the way up to Summit Hill, and then start to come down this, pass through this exact point again, and then down to um, Jim Thorpe. And right in front of us here, you can see that there's uh, sort of walls on either side, and I believe that's where the track actually went right over. So it bridged overhead of the, uh, the down track that we're on here. Switchback Railroad, a gravity railroad, was built along this mountain in 1827 to carry coal from the mines near Summit Hill to the Lehigh Canal at Mock Chunk. The back track and two planes were added in 1844 for the return trip by gravity. It's almost 200 years old. It's wild. Now up at the top, there's the... Uh, the switchback gas station and there's this uh, little road with no outlet no outlet for cars but for us there is uh this is eventually going to taper off uh it won't be paved anymore and it's going to lead directly into the trail and from there we'll continue on uh again all the way down to jim thorpe super long downhill and uh maybe we'll see the remnants of the jefferson plane along the way um i'm hoping we do i'll keep an eye out for them but i'm not so sure here we go just down here we exit this little grouping of houses and hit the switchback And here we go. It's great, it's actually really fast. And you can pretty much maintain the speed all the way to Jim Thorpe. All right, so we just descended from Mount Jefferson and uh, we're back on the same track again, uh, just coming from this direction behind us. Uh, I just wanted to note there is another trail back there that goes up to the right. It's a lung buster. It leads up on top of the ridge for some more technical uh, mountain biking. If you want to see how to do that and you're interested in that kind of riding, uh, there's going to be a panel or a card somewhere here and check out the other video I made for that. Um, but again, we're going to just continue down and just keep, keep on this nice smooth grade uh, all the way down to Jim Thorpe. So let's continue down. Uh, next stop is Mock Chunk Lake. All right, we're just going to cross the road here, hop over to Mock Chunk Lake, or toward it at least. Ranger station is there. You can get water in there, by the way. And then boot right back on the switchback. Horse drawn wagon in 1820, First Gravity Railroad, 1827. So they used to get pulled by horses here. And there's one of the old tracks. Ah, there we go. There's a good depiction of it. Okay, so one more time, uh, we started here in Jim Thorpe and we went up this. Well, we went up the wagon road Descended here, went out along the road, and took the road up instead of the Jefferson Plain to get up here again, and then took the switch back down. We came down to here. We just crossed over. Uh, we're right by the lake, almost near the dam now, and then we're going to continue down uh, all the way to Jim Thorpe, drop down onto Broadway, and back to the starting point again. That's probably the best map I've actually seen of it. This here is just the base of uh, Mock Chunk Lake. This is the dam. This is very interesting because this is actually um, maybe a few hundred feet higher than Broadway and Jim Thorpe. So if you see it from a certain point of view, it actually looks like a basin of water that's raised above the, uh, the town itself. And one of the reasons that this is created is to actually prevent the flooding um, of, the, uh, of the downtown Broadway, all those historic buildings. There's some really interesting historic photos of that town when it used to get flooded. So this is the lower section of the switchback just after the lake. And uh, what's really nice about this is it actually parallels, um, I guess it's Mock Chunk Creek. Um, it starts at the base of the lake, and this is actually the same one that goes underneath Broadway. And it's just a beautiful little stream. It's, it's great for trout fishing. Uh, and it just kind of babbles. It's a babbling brook, you could say, um, all the way uh, down the, the majority of the lower part of the, of the trail here. So it's really nice to stop and go fishing or kind of take a break along this stream. Okay, so now I am actually uh, just about finished. I'm at the top of Hill Road, which drops uh, by the old castle ruins, they call them, um, onto Broadway. And uh, just to my left here is uh, a little bit more of the back track, so it would actually lead us to the top of uh, Packer Hill. Um, but I'm gonna do it this way just to kind of make it a nicer route. Um, even though we miss a little bit of trail, I think it's a nice way to descend down to Broadway. So 
Let's do it. All right, all finished up, uh, right back where we started. We've got the bridge in Lehigh River here and uh, Jim Thorpe behind us. Uh, super good ride, somewhere around probably 35 kilometers. If you like the video and you kind of like these low key uh, sort of guide videos, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, it really um, helps the videos get shown and kind of encourages me to do more. Okay, that's all. See you in the next one.